time when I have a hankering for a cold Coke. And that's usually when I'm eating like a burger or a pizza. Did you get yeah. my burger? And I really just, I can be like, oh, I just, I just want to, you know, chase it down with some. It's up cool. I, and we get it, I know. So, salt, salt and sugar. You're like talking and then I kind of glared in the, in the, to the right for a second with like a, a big smile on my face because I saw the truck. Yeah. And that's like the one my dad used to drive. I'm obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice segue, but yeah, she, uh. <laughs> gonna, she what? That's an interesting segue because you changed it from talking about gearing to, to drugs. No, no, because it's true. I was, I, I, while you're talking, and I had a smile on my face, and I thought, in case it looked weird, <laughs> that's what I was doing. Did you tell the people what you, what you, how you rate the trucks? By how cute they look. <laughs> <laughs> Because there are some cute trucks out there. She's so cute, you're so cute. I'm weird, I know. <laughs> no, you're not. There's, everyone, everyone has weird, their own nuances. That's, that's not a bad thing. Well, a truck is fine. But so, you've but, seen some. You've seen some cute trucks. Yeah, you know, people those say those little, are cute cars or something like that. Those trucks with the little square box at the front. Yeah, yeah. And then there was like yeah, fancy, schmancy yeah. ones that are like yeah. big with... Yeah, there's maybe big I should start trucks and stuff. I'm not even, no, I'm not into milk trucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> we saw that big milk truck when we went to go get water. Did we? Yeah, you're like, look at that huge truck. <laughs> that truck is huge. He's lying. Maybe not. But anywho, yeah, that would be, I guess that would be interesting if they could do that. Then for people like us, this is, I mean, back to the curing. For people like us who don't drink soda very often, it would be kind of cool because then you can just make it whenever you want to at home. You know what I'd make? I'd probably make if they license it. The cranberry ginger ale. Or vanilla coke. Yeah, no, cranberry ginger ale it sounds really, really good right about now. We need to bring our car to the car wash. <laughs> is your vehicle dirty car right wash. now? Because ours is. Car wash. Ours is full of salt. And I don't know why we're treating it like that because it is a new vehicle and it should be <laughs> taken, yes. should be treated, should be treated more kindly, man. Yes. Um, it's there, there. salt. We didn't there, even there. put the weather protection on the outside. There, there. I read about it. And what did they say? They said unless you plan to like keep your car forever, uh, it's not necessary. It's not, it's not really that necessary because of the way they make the vehicles these days, the yeah. exterior. Yeah. They do make it very salt resistant. So oh, it's very cool. Yeah, it's very resistant to corrosion. Oh, so, okay. I'm sorry. We're passing the same place that we were at last yesterday for our um, pet grooming actually. The, the thing is, you know, if if the pet groomer was open on Sunday, we could have just see if we could have booked an appointment to come today because that would have avoided us driving back and forth. Well, can it's, you imagine time coming down here in our Sunday best with dogs? Oh, that's true. Yeah, but you just be picking them, dropping them off and picking them up. Oh, yeah, you're right though. But it's like, and they're it's pretty, like... They're pretty well behaved though. And they're not, they're not like German Shepherds. Sorry. No, they're not. Yeah, it's 87, 87 kilometers one way. So you do the math, you times that by two. In fact, now you're going to times it by four because we're down here again. It's like, basically, if we didn't work in Toronto, we would be living in the city where we're at now because that's yeah. where we're from. But I, we also... We were very interested in, in going to the West Coast or Australia. Yeah. So we would love to visit those places. Well, and because we thought that there were job opportunities there for you, right? So yeah. if that ever comes into play, we it's might move. Yeah. yeah. I just passed my orthodontist office. I actually had braces on once in my life. Yes, your girl had a space and she had to deal with that so I went my orthodontist office is right there and he actually sold his practice and the new woman I actually dealt with her once and she is so not nice she's so not nice she is so rough I seriously do not want anyone like that in my mouth what did she say to you next time we're gonna have to make arrangements yes oh so I paid full we paid full price for my braces right and it costed a lot of money and then my orthodontist decides to sell his practice and 
It's kind of like... He sold his patient list Yeah, well. you're supposed to sell your patient list as well, but I went back to her because I had an issue with my braces. My retainer came your off. permanent retainer never stays on. It never stays on. I find that Because so he probably amazing. uses cheap stuff to put know. it on. I, I've had braces... You no, know, I got my braces off when I was 14. And yours hasn't even budged. And mine hasn't budged. But you, he, you've got That's a nice... almost 20 years. You know what? You've got a nice steel that has like a... What do you call it? It has rivets. So I can understand it sticking to things. Whereas in now they're using like a cheaper... Just a cheaper silver... Oh, uh, like a cheaper steel. Yeah, it's, it's just a steel. And it has no... not Nothing to create grip or... You know? Great. Yeah. So it's, I think it's like a cheaper material. And it's like... Get it straight. It's not working. How do you buy it? So anyways, my retainer came off for like the 50th time and I went back to her to, I went to her because she, this is her first time, um, tending to me and then she's like, oh, okay, so you do know the next time you come, we'll have to make arrangements. It'll be $50 for appointments. I'm like, really? $50? I've already paid like thousands of dollars in, to tend to my braces. They're not cheap. It was so annoying. So... Now my retainer actually has came, it has come off the at the bottom, and I want to get it t fixed, but I haven't gone back yet. I don't want to go back to her. It's not even about paying the darn fee, but it's about it's going about fixing the problem. It's about fixing the problem and about going to her. So I'm, I guess I'm probably gonna have to look for a new orthodontist and I should get it taken care of sooner than later because my retainer has been off for an entire year anyhow we're in the church parking lot and we got to go because we're running behind oh my gosh. Bye. so church just finished and we're actually driving through um, Tim Hortons the Tim Hortons line yes. and then I'm probably just gonna get a green tea because okay. I haven't been drinking any coffee lately am I getting huh? girls girls how do you like your coffee girls Real. <laughs> Don't even listen to him. <laughs> so what am I getting the girls? Do they? Do they? Do I, should I just get them a muffin? Hey, what do you guys want? My name is Emily. What can I get for you today? Hi. Uh, could you just give me one moment, please? No problem. Oh, for God. Yeah, you have. You right. Have three, yeah, sure. When you grown up, you have to go and follow God. I swear, we need to get a new vlogging camera. Though this is clear, it is super sized. People probably thinking I'm filming a, a, di a documentary when they see me with this. Well, this is what I got. It's a digital SLR. So, what does that have to do with it? It's uh, well, what does that have to do with anything I just said? It means that some people carry on digital SLRs all the time, you know, and I don't question them. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's an ambulance over there. Uh oh. So we're on our way to my parents. Yeah, but we're gonna go visit my in-laws for a brief moment. And then we wanna get home before um, it gets late. Yeah. Because our drive home is like 45 minutes to an hour. Service was really good though. The message was really good, inspirational, really and I feel like we needed it. <laughs> Right? It's very good. Simple. Straightforward. Straight to the point, yeah. He didn't even crack a joke. Pastor Mark. Yes, you did. Here and there. Here and there. I guess a little bit, yeah. But he was more serious than than, than usual. Yeah, that was only a quick second. He's not there to crack jokes, so. So I just need a quick second. Doesn't he look British today? Hey, he's gonna make a picture. Oh, when he get home, when he makes a picture, he'll snap it. They're all gonna watch us chew. Mm. That was really good. Mm. Red velvet muffin, my favorite. Oh yeah, he had a red velvet muffin. I had old-fashioned plain donut. We should save. Why? Low sodium. Enough said. I ain't gonna. Don't need to explain myself. And. Crepes didn't have any salt this morning, right? I chose no, it, yeah. Aside from the sodium bicarbonate. Yeah, how much Where's is that? There's some, right? Dude, like how much? It's, it's, it's baking soda, right? It's baking 
Now he tells me. Well, you know that every time I bake. No, I don't, because I always just kind of read it as you, there's no sodium in there. So then I felt compelled to eat a donut. Let's out of just eaten the lovely apple I washed and traveled with. I travel with this because I don't want to suffer from low blood sugars on the street. Because when these guys can just pick up any random thing to eat on the streets, I'm left out in the cold. The star. And no one in Brie? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good job, Jerry. Drop it, drop it. So we are just driving around the town. Look at there's more construction here. Yeah, they're like building up stuff everywhere. It's like a foreign place. Every time we come here, there are all these things that are new. Yeah. Yeah, they're building all these condominiums downtown now, which is strange. I guess jumping on a condominium bandwagon. I'm I'm concerned. So Yeah. Housing if interest rates go up. The market's gonna drop. Which is good and bad. You don't you don't want the economy to crash. Anyway, we're hoping that interest rates go up a little bit and housing prices go down a little bit. Pay attention. So get a better deal. Not on a condominium. <laughs> yeah, that's a big no-no for me. I'm sure it's okay for a lot of people and that's fine as long as it's convenient for you. It's just that with pets and kids, like we just don't uh, prefer a con condominium for any reason. It wouldn't, no, we wouldn't. wouldn't be very suitable for us. Yeah, so if, we were, if, we were, if it was just us, right? condominium would be good. Oh, I got this. I just got this for it was just us? Even then, I still like my, my own laundry? space. I don't like to be cooped yeah. in, a, like, in an apartment. Yeah, a, condominium, a condominium is an apartment to me. Right? Yeah. But I know some people will disagree, and that's okay. I'm not here, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I'm just talking about my personal preference. And, you know, I have I have um, grown in an apartment. Well, I didn't grow in it, but I was. I lived in an apartment for maybe two or three years. <laughs> I lived in an apartment for like 20 years. That's how I broke it I grew up in an apartment. Until we, we until, got our own until house. I got, until I got married. Until we got our own house. Yeah. 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 Our own place. That's right. If I, had, if I had my preference, I'd choose a bungalow. Because that's kind of like, yeah. like one floor apartment style. You're not attached to anything. Not attached to anything. Yeah. You. So I, like, yeah. it, I think bungalows are great. Hey, mommy, for the kid or a bike game. Oh, kid Icarus. Can, kid, for the kid Icarus game, we combine our names for Mikabar. Cool. Mikabar. Mikabar. It sounds like um. <laughs> it sounds like a fake name. No, it mm -hmm. sounds like a poor name. But um. A chocolate what were we saying? Yeah, I grew up in a. I grew up in a bungalow. We lived. In, my, my family lived in a bungalow for quite some time, and I really liked it because, yeah, all of our rooms are just on the one floor. Everything's just on the one floor, so it's just more. It's. I find it like more cozy. Yeah. Yeah, and more inviting. Right. Right. All right. And our current place is like so many, so many levels: basement, den, kitchen, living room, and living kitchen. Room. Upstairs. In fact, I don't like, like our current place. Like, I don't like four levels. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Lots it's, of stairs. Yes, yeah, lots of stairs. It's good for exercise. Maybe if that's it's like dangerous. But it can be dangerous, and it's just too high. I, I don't know. Even the dogs get kind of lazy. Yeah. I mean, poor Oscar. He's not. He's not that old. He's like six years old. And sometimes he misses the step. <laughs> And then every time he does that, I feel so bad. I immediately grab him up and carry him upstairs. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a little baby. Oh. Because, you know, you know, can you imagine if you hit your head on the stairs? Yeah, it's, it's not like you really want to right. right away climb up. Eh? That's true. Yeah. Trying to move the camera around and give you guys a little bit of an angle so we're not just like dead on every the whole time. Anyway, we're gonna go give, offer some moral support to my parents. Oh yeah. They lost, they lost some fish in their saltwater aquarium. Yeah, they have a huge saltwater aquarium, and then um, 
How many did they lose? Something happened. Like it, I don't know what happened, oh. but just they lost a couple of fish. It's really sad. It is sad. Beautiful aquarium. And I mean, they're not just like your average everyday fish that you pick up for like two dollars. No, that's the saddest not. part. Is that you? You know you. You, you, yeah, you, spend, you, know, you know the you know people you who like to tank. yeah customize their tank and they spend hundreds of dollars on, on fish. I I can't believe fish that are so delicate can be sold for so much. Like you, their chances of survival are like 50 50. Well, you know they you gotta up that rate by by paying attention, I guess. Yeah, but I mean I'm just saying like just even taking them out of the initial environment inside the, the, the fish store, the yeah. pet shop, and then bring it bringing them to your tank that alone is risky you don't know if it's going to disrupt them and throw them off balance and yeah that's right so that i don't know i love the, their tanks their tanks are beautiful and their that's fish it. are gorgeous i'm i don't know one day i think i will definitely try to get a fish tank i think actually that's somewhere in the making but in the future not right now <laughs> No, Maybe you also right said we <laughs> well, I wanted a fish tank uh, before. Shh, shh. We wanted a fish tank before, and it was a freshwater tank. And we started a little mini tank, and I started putting um, live plants in it. And little did we know, the live plants were filled with snails. Now these are like the organisms you can't see them. They're very tiny, right? You can't see them at all. It's like eggs, I think they said. Yeah, eggs, yeah. They might be eggs attached to the plant. And you don't know until when you put them in your tank and then after several days then you yeah they climatize and then you'll, you'll begin to see the hundreds of snails hundreds of snails so this is what happened wow. to us in our first attempt to have a fish tank yeah fail it went, it did, <laughs> it went downhill very quickly it went downhill very fast oh, we no. had like very basic fish in there we didn't spend a lot of money buying like you know major fish and thank god because the snails like they multiplied by like I swear it just seemed by like the hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> they was, were it was a disaster. It was disastrous. You can go. I'm being a passenger driver. Thank you, love. Can I turn now? No no you cannot. But yeah. And that tank just had to go very fast. What is and it I do? we tried to get rid of the snails and we couldn't and yeah. Yeah. We ain't gonna talk about that no more. It was sad. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So yeah, that's probably it for the end of this vlog, guys. We hope you enjoyed this little mini session with yeah, us. In the car. In the car. <laughs> it's not your typical yeah, everyday yeah. vlog, no, but it's, it's this is one of the moments where you get to kind of have like the hubby and I and chit chat with us or get to watch us yeah. ramble because. Sharon. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, beginning the... tomorrow, we don't want to say that word. It begins with a W and ends with a K. Yeah. It's my first weekend yeah. off since <laughs> the new year. The new year just since. began. I can't. Well, I'm no, I, I work saying. steady Please. every day, right? He said that. Since the third. He's supposed to be. So, Saturday, to be. Sunday of this week. He's Okay, okay, speed it up a little bit. Don't so, make it all dramatic. I'm milk it. It's just, no, I'm stop. Milk it. We ain't gonna milk it. I gotta milk it. Work is work. It have, it's around the clock, and we all gotta do it, and yada yada boom boom. We're very, yes. you know, we're very appreciative. Don't let, don't get it wrong. We're very appreciative of him being no, hard working. I, and no, working. and I have to admit, like, but, my job is not a terrible job. No, but it's not you're a terrible just, job. I'm. You just like to I'm suck just it up. Like I'm just griping a bit. I, you know, but it's not a terrible job. I'm not. I'm not doing heavy labor. I'm not wearing my body out. And why are you always complaining I, and no, being melodramatic? I, know. I I'm very melodramatic. Every time you're on camera. Oh my leg is yeah, where it comes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, humble. I know, but I shouldn't be like that. No, you shouldn't. You should be thankful, as we are. So. We need to be humble. Yeah, thanks. Work is difficult. It's not easy. I'm working and, in my field. And he's working in his field. He's an engineer. I'm sure you guys have already know that. We didn't answer a question. Oh, yeah. We're going to be, after posting this, 
well actually I'm gonna just let you guys know in this video that we are gonna be doing a question and answer this is our first one guys and um, you know thank you guys for all the new subbies and then you know all of you who have been watching us so now we're starting to answer a little bit of questions for you and we look forward to you guys on um, look forward to your questions if you have anything that you'd like to ask us you know if we're willing to answer we will, <laughs> we will. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, don't ask anything crazy. I'm joking. But yeah, anyways, you can just feel free to a answer. Feel free to answer. Gosh. Feel free to ask whatever question you like down in the comment box and we will answer it for you. Alrighty. She needs to read messages too. <laughs> <laughs> I will comment back. Yes, I will. And I'm gonna get this guy to start commenting back too. He needs to be more active. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Or he will be castrated. Whoa! <laughs> wow! What kind of penalty is that? It's like whether I want to be alive or or not. It's like a death penalty. It's not. Comment That's not, or die. That's an ultimatum right there. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. Bye That's guys. Signing off. To lose. Say bye kids. Bye. Good boy. Bye. <laughs> so long. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Never the people in Bye babes. In them. Bye. Share your, your. Don't be drinking that by yourself. Share it. Oh, okay. Here, Here guys. Here, guys. Have some. Drink some. Oh, it's so good. You'll thank me for that later.